All right, so we're going to begin our discussion of control flow by talking about if statements. So, but what is control flow all about, actually? Well, control flow controls which parts of your code gets executed and which parts do not get executed. So the if statement is a very good way of controlling that. So let's suppose that you have a sensor somewhere and you're taking a temperature reading and let's say you have the value of 35. Now, what you might want to do is you might want to uh, get different printouts depending on what the temperature actually is. So for example, if the temperature is greater than 30, then you might want to print out that it's hot outside. And I'm using Celsius obviously here. So you might want to print line uh, really hot outside. So the end result of calling this is of course uh, the output that it's really hot outside because temperature is in fact greater than 30. However, if I make it 25, for example, and I run this thing once again, then nothing gets executed because the condition in the if statement doesn't get turned to true. So effectively, you never actually call the print line. Now, in addition to just a single check, like if temp equals 30, you can also say what happens if temperature is not greater than 30. For example, I can say that uh, if the temperature is not greater than 30, but if it is less than 10, for example, then uh, we might want to say that it's particularly cold. So let's do that. Uh, and you can see that this is done with an else if, so really cold. Okay, so what happens here? Well, first of all, as we come into this line of code, uh, the computer checks that the temperature is greater than 30. If it is greater than 30, it, it executes this statement. If it's not greater than 30, then it goes on. Then it comes here and it says, well, if temperature wasn't greater than 30, let's check if it's less than 10. Uh, thus, we have the else if. So if the temperature is less than 10, then we print really cold. Let's make it 5, for example, and run this. So we get really cold as the result. So these are the two possible conditions. However, it is possible that the temperature is somewhere between 10 and 30, in which case we might want to run some other line of code. We might want to print out that the temperature is actually OK. So in this case, what we can do is we can put an else in here. So if all the other conditions are not satisfied, if the temperature is not greater than 30, if the temperature is not less than 10, then we will end up in this else block. And what we'll do here is we'll print out uh, that the temperature is OK. Uh, temperature is OK. All right, so in this case, if I set the temperature to 15, for example, it's not greater than 30, it's not less than 10, therefore we should be in this block. And as I execute it, you see that the temperature is in fact OK. Now, an interesting thing about the if statement in Rust, as opposed to some of the other languages, is that the if statement is actually in this expression. So I can write things like this. If I want to figure out whether it's sunny or not, I can say let day equals, and here I can put an if statement. So I can say if temperature is greater than 20, then it is sunny. Otherwise, it is cloudy. You'll notice that the curly braces here, they are mandatory. I cannot avoid writing them. So what I've written right now is a variable declaration. So day is obviously a text variable. It's a string variable. And it contains different values depending on the value of temp. So if the temperature is greater than 20, then the value of day will have the string sunny. Otherwise, it will have the string cloudy. All right. So now that we have this, we can actually print line uh, the result. So today is day. And right now, because I have temperature at 15, it's not greater than 20. Uh, it's going to print cloudy. Today is cloudy. However, if I change it to uh, 25 and I run this again, it's going to print today is sunny. So you can use the if statement and it actually returns a value. So you can assign that value to a variable. OK, so uh, in a similar fashion, what you can do is you can have that if right inside your print line, for example. So I can do something like this. I can print line, it is uh, curly braces. And also notice that I can have else ifs as part of this kind of inline declaration in the sense that here I can say it is, and then I can say, if temperature is greater than 20, then we print hot. 
else if uh, temperature is less than 10 uh, then we can print code otherwise here is the else we print OK and all this is happening inside the print line macro so I close the uh, round brace here and now depending on the temperature I'm going to print it is hot if it's temperature greater than 20 cold if it's less than 10 otherwise OK so let's try this if I put it to 5 and I run this it's going to say it is cold and if I put it to 15 for example uh, it's going to say it is OK all right so uh, finally one thing I want to uh, show you is that not only can you have an if else if and else inside some other invocation having it yield some result but you can also have ifs inside if so to speak so let me show you how that works uh, I'm going to write something very similar but now we're going to say that if the temperature is greater than 30 then instead of writing hot we're going to write very hot so print line once again it is so and so now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to write here I'm going to say if the temperature is greater than 20 but then I'm going to open a curly brace and I'll close it here and uh, inside I'm going to have yet another if statement so instead of just yielding the value as I do here yielding the hot value what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another if I'm going to say if temperature is greater than 30 then I'm going to return very hot otherwise I'm just going to return hot okay and similarly here in the else if I can say else if temperature is less than uh, 10 then return uh, cold otherwise return OK there we go alright so the uh, end result what we're getting here is we're getting an if inside of an if but the inner if can still return us values like hot and very hot so if I make the temperature 35 like this and I run this I get it is very hot 